One possible explanation for the human sample efficiency that needs to be considered is evolution. And evolution has given us a small amount of the, mo the most useful information possible. And for things like vision, hearing, and locomotion, I think there's a pretty strong case that evolution actually has given us a lot. Mm -hmm. So, for example, human dexterity far exceeds, I mean, robots can become dexterous too if you subject them to like a huge amount of training and simulation. But to train a robot in the real world to quickly like pick up a new skill like a person does seems very out of reach. Yeah. And here you could say, oh yeah, like locomotion, all our ancestors needed great locomotion, squirrels like, so locomotion maybe yeah. like we've got like some unbelievable prior. Yeah. You could make the same case for vision, you know, I, I believe Jan Lacan made the point, oh, like um, children learn to drive after 16 hours, after like 10 hours of practice, which is true, but our vision is so good at least for me, when I, mean, I remember myself being five year old, my I was I was very excited about cars back then, and I'm pretty sure my car recognition was more than adequate for self driving already as a five year old. You don't get to see that much data as a five year old. You spend most of your time in your parents' house, so you have very low data diversity. Yeah. But you could say maybe that's evolution too. But then language and math, and coding, probably not. It still seems better than. Models. I mean, obviously, models are better than the average human at language and math encoding. But are they better at the average human at learning? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. What I meant to say is that language, math encoding, and especially math encoding, suggests that whatever it is that makes people good at learning is probably not so much a complicated prior, but something more, some fundamental thing. Wait, I, I'm not sure I understood. What, what, why should that be the case? So consider a skill that people exhibit some kind of great reliability or, you know, um, yeah. if the skill is one that was very useful to our ancestors for many millions of years, hundreds of millions of years, you could say, you could argue that maybe humans are good at it because of evolution, because yeah. we have a prior, yeah. an evolutionary prior that's encoded in some very non-obvious way yeah. that somehow makes us so good at it. Yeah. But if people exhibit great ability, reliability, robustness, ability to learn in a domain that really did not exist until recently, then this is more an indication that people might have just better machine learning period. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.